Ravens have been linked to Julio Jones yet again. You really think that after free agency and after the draft where they double dipped at wide receiver, they would still take on Julio Jones? I just can't see it and I ain't even gonna get hung up on it. But I wouldn't be mad if it happens. Don't get mad. Uh -huh. It's just what it is. It's what it is. Yeah, we talking sports shot out in Graven Vance. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And yes, the Ravens have once again been linked to Julio Jones. But before we get into this, I got to say I appreciate y'all uh, coming through here. And despite all the negativity that you hear on TV, on the radio, on wherever, y'all still coming through here and show love and y'all show positive love too. You never know who's on the opposite end of that avatar. You never know who's on the opposite end of that profile picture. You never know who's on the opposite end of that message. And you never know what they're going through. So y'all keep being respectful to one another because you could really be making a huge difference in somebody's life. Somebody may be having just this negative outlook on life and may be thinking, man, people just suck. People are terrible. I hate how they are. Why is everybody so, they could be having the worst day ever where everything is just going wrong. So then they come on here and they just want to hear something that's going on with the Ravens of NFL and, and they may engage a little bit. They may put a comment and the fact that you respond to that comment, whether you agree or disagree, but the fact that you respond to that comment positively, it can go such a long way with somebody. So y'all please keep that in mind, not just on this channel, but whatever channel you go to, whatever you watch, whatever posts you look at, whatever, keep spreading positivity, man. Now, something that has positively impacted Ravens fans has been this Julio Jones news. Now, of course, before the draft, we kept hearing this and that about the Ravens and Julio. Julio and the Ravens, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? And we all had our thoughts about what if and if it did and if it was. And of course, nothing happened. So then the draft came and went and in my opinion, the Julio dream, mines died as soon as they drafted Rashad Bateman. Even though I was super happy that they got Rashad Bateman, I was like, okay, well, that, that's it for Julio. And then the Ravens not only got Rashad Bateman, but they doubled down and they got Tylen Wallace. So I was like, oh, yeah, they definitely ain't getting no Julio now. But when it comes to this entire Julio Jones thing, there are three types of Ravens fans. The first one, man. Imagine what Julio Jones could do for the Baltimore Ravens. Imagine what he could do for this team. I know we got Hollywood. I know we got Sammy Watkins. I know we got Rashad Bateman. I know we got Tylen Wallace. I know we got Miles Boykin. I know we got Devin DuVernay. I know we got James Prochet. I know we got Deion Kane. I know we got Benjamin Victor. I know we got all these receivers. But just imagine what a Julio Jones could do. He could take us over the top. And then there's the second type. Man, y'all tripping, man. You know Ravens ain't about to get no Julio Jones. Don't even sweat it. Don't, don't get hung up on it. It's not happening. I ain't getting invested into it. I'm not getting hyped over it. I'm not investing any energy into even the thought of the Ravens getting a Julio Jones. And then there's a third kind. Whatever happens, happens. And I would say for me, I'm a mix of all three. Now, I would definitely be number one the most, though. Because it's not that I'm indifferent about Julio Jones. While I don't think, my, my number two doesn't think it's going to happen. But my number one just imagines the possibilities. My number one imagines the Ravens still going overkill at the wide receiver position for Lamar Jackson. My number one imagines a, a scenario where you, ha Ooh, where you have a Hollywood Brown on the field. You have a Rashad Bateman on the field. You have a Sammy Watkins on the field. You have a Mark Andrews on the field. And you have a Julio Jones on the field. You have Lamar Jackson. You have the offensive line. They're five wide. They're spread. Just imagine that. What do defenders do? What do they do? Who do they guard? Who do they cover? What happens? That gives Lamar so many options and so many quality options improving options too because we know what julio can do in this league we know what hollywood has done in this league we know what sammy watkins has done in this league we know what mark andrews has done in this league and then you got lamar just in case by some way somehow all of those guys just so happen to be covered the only way i really see that happening is if the ravens are going against each other in practice 
But if all of those guys just so happen to be covered, if we are facing this elite of the elite secondaries, Lamar still has that option to take off. So with Julio, again, I, I, I don't think it's going to happen. I, I really don't. But just imagining how, again, Lamar Jackson has spoiled us as Ravens fans, as Ravens organization, as a Ravens franchise. So why not spoil him? Why not? He's still on his rookie deal. And his money is getting ready to shoot up next year since Ravens picked up the fifth year option. Why not spoil him? Now, then you also have the argument of the development of the Ravens wide receivers. And this has been something that the Ravens have been going through for the entirety of their existence. And we understand that. We realize that. And we continue to acknowledge that. Because immediately when you think about Julio Jones, you think about everybody in the pecking order that would be below Julio Jones. And that if he came on board with the Ravens, that would be Everybody, everybody, Julio Jones would immediately be the guy, not, not, not just the number one guy, no, 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 he would be the guy for the Baltimore Ravens, the guy. So with Julio, if they got a Julio, he would obviously be a lock to make the roster. Hollywood would be a lock to make the roster. Bateman would be a lock to make the roster. Tyler Wallace would be a lock to make the roster. And I think Devin Duvernay would be a lock to make the roster. But after that, things would get very, very shaky. Very shaky. And then that question of the Ravens and their development with their younger wide receivers will come into play yet again. Because you would have guys like James Prochet. How often would he get playing time? Would he even make the team? You would have a guy, guys like Miles Boykin. How often would he get playing time? Would he even make the team? You would have a lot of question marks when it came to your younger wide receivers. So with Julio, again, it's a gift and a curse. Now, I think it's a lot more gifts because you know what he can do. He is an established guy, an established wide receiver, an established veteran. Been there, done that in this league. He has literally played in every single type of of game there is to play in every single type he's played in every preseason game regular season every type of playoff game and he's played in the Super Bowl didn't say he won every type but he's played in every type the only one he hasn't won is the Super Bowl that's it so if he were to go to the Baltimore Ravens you would have to feel like their Super Bowl odds would increase by a lot, by a lot. Because think about this, they've already been, the, the past two years, no NFL team, none, zero, zilch, nada. No NFL team the past two years has scored more points than the Baltimore Ravens, none. And their starting quarterback, he sat out a lot of fourth quarters too. It ain't like he's been playing all four quarters uh, for, for the past 32 games. He sat out games. He sat out quarters. He's missed time. But the Baltimore Ravens still, despite that, for the past two years, they have been the number one scoring team. Imagine. And, and that's without Julio. <laughs> Just Imagine. Imagine if they were to add a Julio Jones. Think about that. What that would do for their offense, how that would open them up, how that would open up other opportunities for their other guys too. Imagine the number one scoring team in the league and they add a Julio Jones. They go overkill at wide receiver. Ooh, Ooh that would be nasty. That would be nasty. So, again, I don't think it's going to happen. And, again, I, I told y'all, I'm number one, two, and three. I would love for it to happen, and I could just imagine the possibilities of what it could do. But then I'm number two because I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think Ravens are going to make that move. But I'm also number three because I'm just waiting to see what happens. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. 
And, and Ravens, if y'all were to get a Julio Jones, <laughs> oh, we would certainly love y'all and appreciate y'all too. And again, the Ravens are in win now mood. And you should really be going all in for your quarterback. Now, they did a lot this offseason, but there's still a lot of unproven there. There's still a lot of unproven there. You got Sammy Watkins now, which is cool. And you still got Hollywood. But after that, it's, it's, it's a lot of question marks. Now, with Bateman, I expect him to come in and do well. I don't expect him to go crazy, anything like that, get 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. No, no. I, I expect my realistic expectations for Rashad Bateman, um, I would probably say like 800 yards, maybe like seven touchdowns, something like that. I don't think, I don't think that's anything too crazy, especially with uh, 17 games. And now that I think about it, 17 games, maybe I could even up it to 850 or something like that. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I do expect him to make a, an impact, especially in the red zone. Uh, but adding that Julio Jones, it would definitely take away from a lot of people's pieces of the pie. But it would make the pie that much sweeter. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out.